first i am sure that i am going to face culture shock and uh, i'll miss my mom of course her food my friends my family but uh, as they say you have to blend in all types of situation so i'll try my best to blend over there i'll miss everything about india also the festivals So my name is Siddhi Sachin Panchigar and I am from Dharampur. Uh, I have just completed my high school education now and I am uh, planning to pursue my further studies from Canada. So I am planning to do my masters in biotechnology and genetic engineering. So when I was uh, going through all the countries, I found that Canada would be the best suitable option for me. Uh, I found that uh, Canada has so nice teaching style. Also, job security and opportunities are very much good in Canada. I see as a great scientist after ten years. I am planning to do genetic engineering in masters, masters in genetic engineering. and uh, i am planning to do that in us and i think that genetic engineering has more scope in us rather than canada but biotechnology i think canada is the best and uh, i see myself working in a great laboratory in future firstly i will be completely independent i think i'll be completely independent also i learn many skills which require our parents so i think i will not be reliable on anyone and uh, i always lag in time management so i think if i come from canada again i'll uh, completely able to i will completely be able to manage my time so many of my colleagues and my friends even my brother studied from here and uh, they all got very good bands in their ielts exam and uh, they all were appreciating the decent classes for their teaching as well as for the materials they are providing so i thought that decent would be the best for me so i have never been to a physical class and i have always attended online class for uh, around 3 months first day was like i was very nervous that what would i what would i answer if sir questions me uh, but it was very normal organic and i was very happy that i attended the class and i got to know very much i got to know so many things about uh, i'll study how to prepare how to take on that uh, tips and tricks to apply in your exam so i got an 8 band overall and in listening i got 8 in reading i got 8.5 in speaking i got 8 and in uh, writing i got 7 Honestly I was on cloud 9 when I got 8 bands I wasn't expecting to get 8 band but uh, as they say that hard work pays ultimately and I have worked accordingly I have worked uh, hard to get achieve this band It does not make any difference if whether you are attending online or offline but what matters is that you keep the connection and you keep the interaction going on with the tutor who is explaining or who is making you understand the things uh in my case i have attended online class and i have never been to a physical class for even for once so i first thought that i should attend and uh, many of my uh, colleagues told me that uh, speaking you should done phys phys uh, you should do physically speaking but uh, i thought that uh, it is not necessary because when you interact on phone we just have to imagine the person sitting in front of us and it's just like that uh, you are actually present but you are not there so online was not so difficult as online is never difficult as people think even now uh, because of the covid we have started studying online for schools also so uh, eventually we will get adapt to it so it was overall a nice experience i don't think that coming to physical class is necessary I have I have faced I have experienced that if you are not interactive with the teacher you'll not get your doubts clear you'll not understand what they are trying to explain and when you know when you are not understanding what they are trying to explain then there is no uh, such ability of yours that you can complete and give the tiles very uh, uh, appropriately so I was very happy that I could answer the question and I was happy that I was interactive with you I expected my I expected from myself that uh, 
i will be able to uh, i will be able to uh, uh, develop that bond with uh, utkarsh sir that i can easily answer the question and i'll also ask my doubt so that was very helpful for me since the starting of this year i work very hard and uh, no doubt there were no exams this year but uh, they have taken around so many like 50 tests they take every day so i have worked for that and uh, i have achieved almost full marks in all my tests and practicals also uh, practicals are very important so i have worked hard for that also and i got 30 out of 30 in all my practicals so oh, amazing what about uh, your uh, what about the subjects which were the most challenging were there any subjects that you did not like yes uh, obviously physics because it's very tough uh, once you understand the concept it becomes easier but you need a lot of practice in that so you need to keep writing and writing all the derivations if it is not uh, it is only that is helpful to you okay i have a question from a student what are your, what is your future goal and target so i am planning to do bachelor's in biotechnology in canada and as soon as i finish that i will go for genetic engineering in mass for mastering so utkarsh sir made us re- read about the book think like a monk by jay shetty it was a very insightful lecture Uh, we got to know so much vocabulary also we got to know how to manage your time while reading and reading is such a task in ielts exam that uh, you have to complete within 20 minutes for each part and if you will not complete you will miss the questions and uh, think uh, thinking like a monk was the lecture that i thought it was very insightful and i loved it the way utkarsh sir explained us and also he made us understand the importance of reading novels and he said that reading you should have at least 200 hours of reading in your 3 or 4 months course and i thought and i think that uh, i have completed around 100 hours of reading and it helped me achieving 8.5 in my reading exam honestly speaking i found writing very tricky and i was a bit lazy in writing and sending my tasks but uh, uh, never do such thing and it has affected my score i got 7 i could have uh, done better and i could have got nice score but uh, i found that writing was a bit tricky for me uh, you know have to collect ideas but you don't know how to put into a paragraph and also the sentence structures are very important if you are not grammatically correct nor pro- uh, framing proper sentences it will affect your score uh i s- i got nervous in speaking but uh it's like nervousness uh, from the pressure of exam and uh, i didn't expect to get eight band in speaking but uh, i was very natural and organic in speaking honestly i told my stories used all the idioms and uh, nervousness comes it is uh, by default it is a human tendency so you cannot do but you have to be confident you have to show confidence by that you can achieve your band score firstly i appreciated all the materials that decent class has provided also the trainers utkarsh sir has taught us an insightful lectures every day he has never missed a session he has tried different ways to uh, help people help us to improve our band score and he has been to the easiest possible way he could in teaching and also i could improve my speaking because of shiv sir if he would have not been there i have not i would have not been improve my speaking and also my writing and uh, reading and listening tasks tasks were also very helpful for me i uh, i practiced all the practice cambridge practice test from the book and uh, I like that all the teachers were very interactive they were very loyal and understanding towards us For the new students I would just say that do not underestimate writing and speaking uh, many students tend that uh, many students do that they will just focus on reading and listening and they will completely ignore writing and speaking and that is the major drawback to uh, get an overall good score and also if uh, even one section or even if one section module of the uh, ielts exam will get less marks your overall score will become 
down. So I think that uh, new students should always try to focus on writing and speaking as much as they can. They have to give their 100% in all the four tests and never give all their efforts in just two tests. Of course, I would recommend decent class to everyone because the experience that I have gained from here, the knowledge, the vocabulary, the grammar, how to frame, how to use the English language fluently. That is the most important thing that this class teaches us. And so I would recommend everyone to join this class. My parents have always been supportive towards me. Not only my parents, my whole family has been always supportive towards me. They have not, uh, unlike, unlike other students, they have never put any pressure on me that you have to, means you have to score this grade. Uh, they were like, I know you can do it, you have to do it, you will do it. So they have played a very important role. And also my mother has, you know, she is the role model of mine and she has always been a helping hand in my uh, in my life